While I was running a dumpster, I noticed there was a car show down the road. So I truly know nothing about entering a car show and don't plan to, but I might just park my not show truck outside of the car show. See how many old men come and take a look at it. You wanna go for a ride? Yeah, we go for a ride in the big truck. Yeah. Don't have to worry about the airbag light in here, do we? Woo! <laughs> you high up, aren't you? Probably need this. We're gonna run around of a room in this truck really fast. And then that. We could daily drive this, couldn't we, Savannah? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Daddy's got too many trucks in the driveway, so he's gotta cut through the yard. Don't tell mom. What do you think, girl? They told us to put it in. Uh, so we were just gonna drive past, you know, do a loop, look, and then park in the parking lot over there. And that guy was like, hey man, just put it in the show. It's 25 bucks, so we're gonna see what happens. This is kinda cool. I didn't clean it, so that's not good. So I figured just donate $25. It goes straight to the veteran, so that's awesome. And then there were a lot of classes we could enter, but the most fitting ones seem to be unfinished. So that's what we did. She's unfinished, she's dirty. Uh, she didn't fit into two or three of the other classes because I'm seeing some of these trucks around here and they're beautiful. It's always the farmer type. Maybe we should put the bed up a little bit. This guy literally just got called up for a door prize. I think he kept it pretty much original. Beautiful. That's my style. Look at that. Brought it back from the dead. Six. Mama's not gonna know what to think about this. Oh, you Number just spilled it. Number 28. Is that funny? Yeah. Your number has been drawn. If that is oh your boy, Mama. Huh? It's got this prize. time. Once I don't think we're winning anything. And I've got stuff to do, so we're pulling out. But it was fun to. Fun to see all the cars. Support a good cause. She gets a lot more attention when you're pulling out of somewhere. Especially because it's got that floating axle back there. I think people all of a sudden see it and they're just like, what in the world? That's fun. It is Monday morning. I'm in the truck. Keegan's in the truck. Busy day. But I'm about to head out a little bit outside of town to deal with a little bit of an issue. I have somebody, amateur mistake, my part. Uh, I had them on the books to drop off a dumpster. I was busy. Didn't double check that they had paid like they said they would. Keegan ended up delivering the dumpster, gave him a call. I'm gonna drop this in good faith, but I do need it paid up before we pick up. Morning of pickup rolls around proceeded to extend the dumpster because he hadn't dropped a single thing in it yet and wanted it for seven day rental instead of three. Seven days rolled around and he said, well, why would you be coming to pick it up? Because I'm making these phone calls, checking in on them. He's like, hey, you know, just a reminder out today's pickup. He's like, well, why wouldn't you extend it until Monday? That's when I asked for the seven days. I was like, ah, I'm sorry. I thought you just wanted a seven day rental from the original date not an additional seven days. I can adjust that, just let me know. It is an additional $50 a day. I'll have to ask my wife. He didn't end up ever getting back to me. So I just let it go until Monday, and here we are. So after a week and a half, this looks like what they, what they got in there, which is a little frustrating because it's like, you didn't need it that long. The only thing I can really do now is call him and let him know gonna dump it, which I really hope I don't end up doing, <sighs> if he doesn't pay. Because it doesn't look like there's anybody here, of course, either. Do you have my money? What? Do you have my money? How could I? Right, right, too soon. Do you have my money? <laughs> we got it. It got paid, but man, it's just a really frustrating interaction. I had the extra days on the ticket, and he said, well, I didn't want those. I hadn't used the dumpster yet. 
it to be extended. I hadn't used the dumpster and I had to literally explain to the guy. How can I explain this to you differently? You might not have used it, but I dropped it off the original day you wanted. He's like, yeah, but you also told me that you, you wouldn't drop it off unless it was paid in advance. I, Are you reading my mind right now? I said, you're right, but I dropped it in good faith because you didn't tell me you didn't want it. And because I needed to keep my guy on schedule. So I, I made a, a call, clearly it was the wrong one because I didn't know that you no longer wanted it. I'm so sorry. And in the same token, this would have been the same guy that had been mad that I didn't bring it. So like, some people are just kind of in their own world. They don't understand that, well, we don't revolve around them. This is definitely one of those. At the end of the day, we got paid. It's over, whatever. Just experiences you don't really like to have in the dumpster business. I literally had to sit there for like 35 minutes just waiting to get paid at the last second. Long story short, always get paid in advance unless you really, really, really know the person and you really, really trust them. I mean, and even then, they should understand your business model and respect it and pay you in advance. Don't make this mistake. So this morning when I woke up, I did a quick pre-trek on all of the trailers and I noticed on Keegan's that his little dust cap to his axle was gone and I tried to put a new rubber one on and it immediately fell apart because the cap itself was broken. Luckily enough, I was able to go find one really quick because I was out. I usually keep a couple of these in stock. So we're gonna do a really quick roadside repair and we're about to cross paths right here. Look at that, less than one minute I had to wait. Good communication. See, that is not good. It bent so the little rubber seal doesn't sit in there very well and I can already tell that grease is definitely going to need to be replaced. Keep in mind we're at the landfill multiple times a day. Sometimes the axle see all the way into the dirt. You can't have them filling up with dirt like this. I have a pair of pliers and a screwdriver. I actually have a better screwdriver I typically use for this. So for now though, wow, that definitely needs to be re-greased now. You get it on here nice and good, but as straight as you can, then our medieval hammer that we're gonna use for now. Keegan held the wood, smacked it in. We're on the road. Good day? So far. Good deal. We mutilated that cap to get it off. So, since we're going to the landfill, might as well slip it in. Normally I'd use a nice little rubber mallet and a screwdriver that fits in my wheel when we do that kind of stuff at home, but sometimes you just use whatever you got in the toolbox whatever you got in the bed of the truck. One less thing to worry about today. So I'm above the garage right now and upon a lot of requests from you guys, I am trying to figure out how to add merch to the channel, but without holding on to all the inventory. So we are gonna try to do some drop ship merch. So take a look at it. I have no idea how well this is gonna work out if the products are terrible uh, or the quality. I'm not gonna to continue to do it through the company I found, but I've heard good things, so we're gonna give it a try. So, check the link in the description and let me know what you think. So, I got a phone call and I'm happy to let you guys know storage units look like they're done. I'll add a little asterisk to that because they're 98% done. There's two little things that I need to come back and do. One of which is we need to add a gutter downspout on this side. And there's like an end cap over here. See right about there where that gap is? That's not good. But the nice thing is there's a piece that goes over top of all that. That way it stays nice and watertight and we put our own logo on it. it. Used to have the company that manufactured the building's logo on it. We're replacing that. Other than those two little things, we're gonna make sure to grade all of this so it's not running towards the building in any way. And we're gonna add a couple of those big posts in all the corners to make sure nobody's trailers or trucks sideswipe the building, because that, that would be a disaster. I am happy to tell you that this is all starting to come together because if you follow the channel, 
you know this has been a nightmare. One thing I'm really excited about is these doors function very nicely. And I was, just with all the troubles we've had, I was a little nervous about the quality of the doors. The doors are nice. And if you know anything about storage buildings, one of the worst things you can do is put one of these up and the doors kink up. They don't work. They're always a mess. That will tick off customers and will waste your time because you'll always be with it. Since we had all that water that came into the other building, thanks to my neighbors over there. Oh, that was all fun, we know. There's definitely a little bit of cleaning up that we've got to do. Luckily, it's all dirt. We don't have any rust or anything on any of the material that we've seen. So I'll probably actually contact Trevor. You guys have met him and I'll have him come in with his power washer, power wash everything over here, get some of the chalk lines off the building that we put on it as well. So I, I say we're done, but you know, still some work to be done for sure. Hopefully in a few months here, I'm just out telling you that, you know, this building is full and you know, we're already looking into how we're gonna build the next one. In regards to the company that I worked with, I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail on it. You guys saw in the past, how frustrating and disappointed I was. Uh, one of the top people there, I don't know what you want to say, had reached out to me. We were going to try to settle on, you know, everything that happened, but other things had transpired. More pieces showed up missing. I requested more pieces. Those pieces showed up wrong. So it has been a long, long process, but luckily it's all come together and honestly, it looks pretty nice, so I'm happy with it. If we were to do it again, there's a lot of things I'd do differently. But we will cross that bridge when we get there. Luckily, the company did say, you know, they're gonna try to make everything right here. So I am excited. And I would love one day to have five more of the, their buildings here. I just hope the process goes, well, five times smoother. Later today, I'm gonna go through clean up all the debris from each one of these units. There might be some loose screws, studs, and then of course, all the trash from the doors. So I'm gonna get all that stuff picked up and get these units ready. In the meantime, we have a few other things to take care of, so let's get to it. So we are pulling into my house. I ended up loading up the flatbed because I need to go pick up a skid from somebody, but I just got another call. I gotta drive back out to the shop because I have a delivery showing up that I honestly kind of forgot about. But we're gonna need to take my favorite truck in the fleet. If you follow the channel, you probably already know what we're about to go grab. Woo-wee! She's pretty. Driver took off. He's got another five hours to go. So he's like, see you, man. Sign the paper later. But, oh, I think this yellow is going to pop. So, if you don't already know about Matt Corp, they are incredible, especially at custom making some dumpsters. So, I like it. Because as you already know, this rig matches that rig. It's just wider, so, or longer, I'm sorry. This rig's longer than that one, which will let it sit on that bad boy even better. I'm not gonna talk too much. Let's get this thing loaded. Probably gonna take it straight to town, take it to my sticker guy, get this thing slapped up. Let's finally load a dumpster on the back of this bad boy. I'm so pumped, you guys. I can't wait to see what this looks like on this old rig. Let's see how this lines up. He literally did all these specifications off of what I told him. So if anything's wrong here, it's probably my fault. But it hasn't been test fitted until right now. 2,000 years later. Let's give it a little persuasion. She moves a lot faster with a little bit of gas. All right, she's lining up. Well, I'm an idiot. I got excited and I forgot to turn the winch on. Let's see how she does. It's a prototype, so I won't be surprised if I have to make some adjustments on my rig. 
Shoot. I like that. I like that look already. Nothing beats a freshly greased new roller. Look at that. Looking nice, looking nice. We're gonna lower her down first before we pull her any farther. So that loaded way easier than I thought. I knew I'd run into something though. Keep in mind guys, I made this setup and I'm trying to mat somebody else's dumpster to it. Literally over just conversation. So, Matt Corp, it looks beautiful. But I'm about to hack up your dumpster a little bit. So, this is how close we are to locking it in. They clearly use these heavy duty pockets back here to move these around with big forklifts. And the thing is, on my trailer setup, that's only about this big because it's a much smaller dumpster. This is also where you add your locking mechanism, which we were gonna put in after I received this. That way I, I knew it would work properly. So what we're gonna have to do is basically chop it down a little bit. That way it should slide right in. And don't worry, everything's fixable. So whatever we do here, it'll be good. That wasn't too bad at all. Cut a couple pieces there and we'll actually be able to use this piece when we put the locking mechanism on the back anyway. Come back and modify those pieces of metal later. Let's bring the rest of that in. You can't win them all. Like I said guys, this is not Matt Corp's problem. This is mine. I designed this thing. See that? Darn close. So all we have to do he actually, I measured everything. They did everything that I said. I just mismeasured locking point versus this actual bottom part of the plate. So, real easy fix. Cut the bottom of the plate here. Scoot it up. A little bit of paint, a little bit of grinding. We'll be good as new. So, in the meantime, I'm going to strap this bad boy down. And I'm actually going to drive it back to town because she needs stickered. Gotta advertise a little bit, right? Let's try to get this thing back to town. Evan at Sign Pro, man. He's always on top of it. He's gonna mock me up some stuff for this big boy. And next time you see it, she should be all lettered up. Oh my, look how it just so happens to fit perfectly in that parking spot. I of course said, don't worry, babe. We don't have any room for it here at the house. It'll definitely, it'll definitely stay at the shop. Little does she know once this is done, it's going to probably be the yard ornament since I live right off the highway. Whoops. The city asks, it's not my work truck. It's my personal vehicle. No one said it couldn't be a semi. Or dump truck. Whatever this thing is. All in all guys, things are starting to finally come together for Rolling Ops. But we're back out at the shop for, I don't know, third time. But I'm just gonna spend some extra time out here. We're gonna get a little bit of that finish work done on the building, start grading the lot a little bit more, and just keep the ball going. So while we ran around doing this, Keegan was running dumpsters the entire day. There's not a single dumpster sitting out front now. Good problem though, right? Yeah. Better than there being a bunch of dumpsters on the ground and nobody's renting them at all. If you own a business, you know it's money in and money out. So with those dumpsters not being there, we ordered a few more. And that's just on top of the storage we're working on, the apartment remodel we're working on. Checked in with that drywaller. I walked through uh, what he's gotten done. Even though it took him a long time, his finish work looks pretty good. But time is money and i have spent a lot of money and lost out on a lot of money with like those storage units not being rented so it's make or break season guys send good vibes and i'll send them your way as well keep grinding and follow along we're just going to keep hammering it out catch you next time